Now it is recording. Okay, so what's going to happen is you're going to see a scrambled word on the board. You may work with someone sitting at your table, or you can work on your own. But if you figure out the scrambled word first, you're going to raise your hand. I'll call and you shout it out. Yes, do you need a pencil? Okay, come get a pencil. Anyone else pencil? Everyone else got a pencil? Cool beans. All right, here we go. So we're going to take some, we're going to write down the word and we're going to take some notes. So the first word, see if you can figure it out. Wait, you got to raise your hand. What is it? Communication is correct. So on your paper in that blank, you're going to write communication. Communication. Okay, and then you're going to write this sentence in the blank right below it. In that blank spot, you're going to write how we give and receive information, convey our ideas and opinions to those around us. Okay, so these skills are important skills for us to learn because these are our work based soft skills. These are like what people, why people want to hire you. Okay, so again, you're going to write down how we give and receive information, okay? And then you've got these five squigglies underneath. You're gonna write the words that are right with the five squigglies, right? Does that make sense? So you write communication, how we give and receive information. And then on the squigglies, you're gonna write these five words. More or less, you got it? Okay, so while you're writing that down, Communication is one of our most important skills. If you learn how to communicate well and respectfully, guess what? You're probably going to get all the things that you want. People with good communication skills tend to be those who are the most successful. Because if, I don't know about you, but have you ever gotten home from school and you're just grumpy and you like grunt at your parent, whoever takes care of you, you're like, Ugh. And then you eat a snack and you're like, oh, I'm okay. But if you had had some good communication skills, you would have been like, oh, I just needed a snack. Okay, so we've got these five different kinds of communication. Verbal communication, what does that mean? Talking, yeah, when we talk, we use words. That's verbal communication. What is nonverbal communication? Like your body? Yeah, your, act, your actions. So if I were to stand like this, and then I were to say, gosh, I love teaching seventh grade. Do you think I really love teaching seventh grade? Probably not, right? Because my body language, right, my nonverbal communication is saying, mm -mm. But if I'm like, oh my gosh, I love teaching seventh grade. My body language is saying something different. And my tone of voice, nonverbal. So if you say to your mom, if your mom's like, hey, will you take out the dishes? She's like, sure, I'd love to take out the dishes. You think your mom's going to leave you alone or she going to chase you with the chancla? Chase you with the chancla, okay? So, but if you're like, yes, mom, I'd love to do the dishes. Nonverbal communication is so important because sometimes our words aren't really saying what our words are saying, right? Right, okay. Uh, listening, ooh, right? Do you ever listen to a friend where like, I have a problem, and then they're telling you the problem like, oh, I have to tell them this, and so all you're thinking about is what you want to tell them? That's not good listening, friends. We've got to listen to what they're saying. Super important. Visual communication, right? Um, being able to read and see. Written communication, like LOL, right? Our texting. When someone sends an exclamation point on the end of a text, what does that mean? They're like, whoa! If someone sends the text in all caps, what does that mean? Oh, that they're yelling at you, right? If someone sends you a winky face, you're like, uh-oh. It's funny because you guys had phones. You guys have phones. When I was in junior high, we had instant messaging. We'd get on our computers at night and we would instant message each other on the computer. Like, hey, did you do your math homework? No? Okay. Anyways. Okay, next word scramble. Let's see how you do. Yes? Are you sure about that? 
You're correct. Good job, enthusiasm. Like this little girl right here. Ah, right, being enthusiastic is having a positive attitude and believing in yourself. It's like Santa, you just have to believe. Yes. Um, apathetic, where you're like, you don't really care. Not empathetic, apathetic, I think. Enthusiasm, or it's like having, like being uh, pessimistic. Enthusiastic is like, yes, we can do it. Pessimistic is like, no, we can't. <laughs> okay, so. Again, being enthusiastic is having a positive attitude and believing in yourself. Why do you think that would be an important skill to have at a job? Because what? Yeah. Do you, when you're with your friends, if you have someone who's like, oh, I don't want to do anything, and is like grumpy at you, do you want to hang out with them? Not usually. Maybe you're like, I'm kind of grumpy too, so it's fine. No. Okay, usually you want to hang out with someone who's pretty positive, right? And when you believe in yourself, you achieve more. If you believe you can do a cartwheel, someday you can do a cartwheel. Okay, you ready for the next scramble? Are you ready to scramble? Two words. Yes? You don't even know yet. Yes, yeah, nobody takes it. We can't raise your hand prematurely. I'll give you a clue. The first word starts with a T. The second word starts with a W. Teamwork. What's going to work? Teamwork. Did you guys ever watch Wonder Pets? Wonder Pets. No? The best one is when it's like the dog. He has to go pee pee. And they're trying to save this puppy because the dog has to go potty, but he's stuck inside. Look it up, Wonder Pets, change your life. It's like, oh no, and they sing their feelings so I can relate. Okay, teamwork is being able to work well with others in a group activity. Why would you need to work well with others at a job? Do you think you're gonna always be working with your best friends? No. Nope. Are there gonna be people at your work that you're like, I don't like you? Oh, yep. Okay. Are there people in your classes that you have to sit by sometimes and you're like, I'm not a fan of yours. And you're like, you're going to make me crazy. Yeah, it happens. But learning to be a team player, learning to do teamwork, guess what? Helps a lot. Then you're not the minions trying to screw in a light bulb. Yes. So, It's going to happen for the rest of your life. Don't be, I get that, don't be the group member that doesn't do any work. Don't do that. Because as you get older, guess what? Your teachers have gotten smarter. If you're doing this much work, you know how many points you get? This many points. When I do group projects and I see that you've done this much work, I'm like, you get this many points. So be smart, be a minion. Okay. Uh, no. I'm going to cheat. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is a tricky one. Uh, this is used a lot in um, computers. With computers. Starts with an N. Uh huh. Starts with an N. Yeah, networking, good job. If I can get it to change, it's because I cheated. I wanted to double check. Okay, networking. So on your paper, you're gonna write networking. You can paraphrase, you know what that means? Just write what's important. So if I were writing this in my own words or making this shorter, I write, okay, talking with and getting help from friends and family. So I would put talking with and getting help from, and then in my own words, I would put important people and then I would look, okay, and acquaintances about your goals, your dreams and interests, important people about life. 
if I were writing it in my own words. If not, you can copy things word for word, but you're always going to be writing more if you do that. So if you're like, I love to write everything, then write everything. But networking. So basically, have you ever heard the phrase, it's not about what you know, but who you know? You're going to hear that a lot when you get a job. So my first job outside of babysitting, because I was like a babysitting fiend. I babysat a ton when I was like 10 to 13 or 14. I just babysat because that was like a good gig and people would pay me to watch their kids. But then I was like, no, oh, I don't want to babysit anymore, so I want to get a job. So all of my friends, well, they were kind of my friends, but I wanted them to be my friends. I was new. They all started working at Cold Stone Creamery, an ice cream place that's so good. And at first, I didn't really know anybody who worked there, and I went and applied for the job, and guess what? I didn't get it. But then more of my friends got hired at the Cold Stone. And then I applied again. And because I had networked and talked to my friends about it, I ended up getting a job there. And I really loved it, and it was a lot of fun. So sometimes you need to talk to people, right, to network and understand. And the more people you know, the more t likely you are to get a job. When I got my job here, it was because I was good friends with my professor. And you want to know who my professor was? Miss McGuire. Isn't that crazy? So that's how you, that's what happens. So sometimes it's not what you know, but who you know. Okay, two words. The S is one of the words. And the other word starts with a P. Yes? Hello. Yes. Do you want another hint? Yeah. Well. So the first word starts with P. R. And then the second word, yes. Problem solving. Problem solving. Identify problem solutions and making good decisions. Do we have problems? We got a lot, right? First of all, we're in a pandemic, so that would uh, be a problem. But because we had a problem, like we had a pandemic, we don't want people to get sick. Our solution was to wear a mask, right? And make good decisions, like washing our hands, using hand sanitizer, trying to social distance, right? So when you have a problem, do you just sit and cry about it? Yeah. Eat your feelings? Yeah. I mean, you can, but then you might get a stomach ache, okay? But it's always good to identify your problem, find a solution, and then make good decisions about it. If you're like, I want to buy a bag of hot Cheetos. Okay, the problem is you're hungry. Like, okay, well, if I buy the bag of hot Cheetos, then I won't be hungry for very long until I eat the whole bag and then I'm hungry. Right, maybe you're like, if you're hungry, maybe you should eat something that has protein and carbohydrates and all those good things like a sandwich which probably cost the same price Yay. or a granola bar anyways make good decisions don't only eat hot cheetos or you will look like a hot cheeto okay next one yeah what no not quite I'm cheating, I'm cheating. Oh, starts with a P. P R O F. What? Professional. Professionalism. Good. Okay. And I put little squigglies for you because this one has squigglies, right? Yeah? Okay. So, professionalism, conducting oneself with responsibility. So, in the squigglies, or you're going to write these on the squigglies. So, being responsible, integrity, accountability, and excellence, and always finding a way to be productive. Right? That's important. Be professional. Okay? It's important to learn these skills. Right? At our school, we have our 
to our expectations, right? Because we are generals. We are strong. We are thoughtful. No, thoughtful. We are responsible. We are, no, I missed ambitious. We are responsible. We are successful. Okay? When we do all these things, you have to be professional, right? Do you have to be professional here at school? Yeah. Did you guys know you show up to school and you're professionals? You're a professional student. So you show up and you're responsible. You bring your binder and your planner to class, right? You have integrity. You don't cheat on your tests or quizzes. You do your best work. Try not to cheat. Please don't cheat. Your integrity is not worth a sandwich. Accountability. You get grades for your work, right? Excellence, right? When you do good work, you get good grades. And always finding a way to be productive. So that's one that we all struggle with. But that's doing your work on Fridays. <laughs> doing your distance learning work, right? Some of you are really struggling with that. <laughs> you still have school on Fridays. It's just on the internet. Not the funnest thing you can do, but still good. OK, you guys ready to move on? Almost. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna move. Okay, last on your paper. C. O. M. P. What do you have? Com compromise? Compromise, yeah. Compromise, right? That's where each person gives something to arrive to a solution. How many of you have younger brothers and sisters? How many of you get really annoyed by your younger brothers and sisters? Okay, when you and your younger brothers or sisters are watching television, do you always agree on what you want to watch? Not all the time. So, if you want to watch The Office and your brother and sister wants to watch Dora the Explorer movie, how can you come to a compromise? The Dora the Explorer movie is pretty good. What's your, what, how do we compromise? No, we don't punch each other. That's not a compromise. That's called fighting. Right? When we compromise, means we both give something to arrive at our solution. If, if you're compromising this situation, maybe you're like, okay, we're going to watch Dora now, but then after we watch Dora, I'm going to watch my show. Right? That's a compromise. Do you both still get to do what you want to do? Did you fight about it? No. Sometimes it's not worth fighting about. Sometimes you just need to eat a snack, and then you'll be fine. Yeah, a Snickers or some goldfish or I don't know what you eat for snacks. A cheese stick. I have cheeses I need to eat in my fridge. Dang it. Okay. Um, these are some bonus ones. You don't, or we have one more. Oh, we have one more. Okay, bonus word. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Find out what it means to me. Respect, right? Treating the other person or their things as you would want them treated. So it's like, do unto others as you want done unto you. If you see someone has a really cool, let's see, a really cool Pokemon card. Yeah, I went there. A really cool Pokemon card, and you're like, dang, that's so cool, I wanna play with it. And they're like, no, you can't play with my Pokemon card. Or my slime, or my silly putty, or my, Giga pet. Do you guys have Tamagotchis? No, right. They're like these little pets that you have. I used to have them when I was little. Yeah, Anyways, I, I they are very time consuming. You have to feed them and love them. Oh, it's a good and then they die and they poop. Yeah. Not worth it. Anyways, but if someone has something you like, you don't just tear it out of their hands and then treat it like poop, right? It's like, it's like when you get a library book. If you take that library book and you throw it in a puddle, and then you take it back to the library, are you going to 
be able to check out any more books? No, because you didn't respect it. If you don't respect others, and that goes with friends too. If you treat your friends poopy, guess what? They're probably going to treat you poopy. So don't be a poopy poop, okay? Be kind. What you do to other people is probably going to come back to you. So if you kick your younger brother, someone's probably going to kick your butt. Maybe metaphorically, okay? So be respectful. Okay, bonus word. Starts with an E. Encouragement. You don't have to write this down. But when you give encouragement, it's using positive statements like, man, you're really great. We're saying thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you is huge. If you learn to say thank you to others, guess what? You're probably going to get more stuff. Have you ever been grateful and then someone's like, here, have some free stuff? It happens. Be a grateful human. Have a good day. Be kind. Those are all good things. Okay, ready for this one? Sharing. Share your pizza. Okay, participate. Experience. When you participate, you get more out of stuff. So if you just sit in class and do nothing, you know what you're going to get out of it? Nothing. Nothing. But if you do something, you get something back, like pizza. Okay. We, what time is it? Yeah, we're going to clean your Chromebooks and be done. So I'm going to come around with a spray. Log off your computer. You should have that rag on your table still. When you come to class, you should be wiping down your table with the rag. I did spray it, so I did have stuff. Let me spray it, let me spray it with the special spray before you wipe it down. It's just hand sanitizer that's safe for the Chromebooks. Did you guys wipe the table? Um, you should have when you came in. Will you hand me that other rag? Thank you for being patient with me as your teacher because I had a personal crisis of my hair in my eyeball. I will remember that. And then put your Chromebooks in the middle of the table. Okay, wipe them off and put them in the middle of your table. You know, I didn't stop recording. 